Welcome back to the Kampala Serena Hotel. It is the press box. Every Monday, 9.45 p.m., we have a massive panel that comes together to discuss everything to do with sport. We have all the experts. We have PROs from UNRWA here. We have uh, roving African journalists from uh, FIBA. We have uh, folks who are closing into the cabinet down in Toro, but also a, 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 a big time. By the way, did you see that headline from Toro today? Yeah, I did. Uh, the king has reduced his... Uh, his cabinet from 47 to 17. Setting the agenda for the country. As disappointed, your name wasn't in the 17. Though. No, I told him I'm <laughs> coming in the next. This one, I'm still busy. You're looking uh, at future uh, yeah, plans. Yeah. I, there was a, one word that was close. I saw <laughs> Mwangushia, but then this one <laughs> no, was, 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 was spelt <laughs> different. No, no, even <laughs> the Mwangushia name was spelt different. There were two, Mwangushia and <laughs> Mwangushia. <laughs> Charles and the other one. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so I, I told him uh, he, he really badly wanted me, but no, I, I think said, we need hold on, I'm still engaged. Oh, yeah, I think we need no, we need representation here. Talking about representation, very 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 soon uganda could have representation in zurich i'm telling you one of the biggest stories in ugandan sport is alan okello we had him on the show a couple of weeks ago and uh, we asked him about transfers we asked also his own coach uh, mutebi uh, mike mutebi about transfers and they both insisted no 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 we are still developing the player time will come we shall move him on when time comes mangusha we didn't know that these guys could have not been telling the truth on the show that there was talks behind the scenes because Alan Okello is no longer in Uganda. Maybe time has come. Mm. Yeah, they okay. like that's it. <laughs> Tell me what's happening. Uh, what's happening, okay, f f first things first is, at the time the other clubs, Mamelon sat down, Ajax wanted him, he was still at school. Mm -hmm. So they said he can't go until he finishes his A-levels. Mm -hmm. He has since done that. And uh, this comes, uh, actually, the, the one thing some people might not know, is this deal, uh, not a deal, trials for FC Zurich, mm -hmm. were supposed to happen a year ago. But... They delayed with visas here and there, case here, and then the season started, so they put it on hold. So this time round, uh, they've done it. The boy arrived in Zurich yesterday. Uh, KCC are uh, putting up a minimum asking price of eight hundred thousand US dollars. Ooh, good yeah, money. that's about three point six billion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that, if it goes through, would put him above Mia. Mia moved for four hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Uh, to standard league and then um majid Musis was one million dollars from uh, ren to bazaspo yeah. and then uh Sekadia was one million euros mm -hmm. from arsenal de Serande to uh, salzburg oh. so that would put him up there number uh, three yeah? it would be yes. number three mm. number three be, be, because the, 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 one, the one million dollars for for majid at the time also was was yeah some, because exactly the, 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 we are talking yeah. about 10 million dollars but also yes, please that's emphasize that's million, that is yeah. in yeah. one mm. we are talking about 10 that's, million dollars. Yeah. please emphasize that is in one move because mr sepuya most likely has made more money from transfer. Uh -huh. than he <laughs> okay, there was uh, that, yeah. yeah but remember that Majid Mosisi, yeah, from, from Ren to Brotherspa was a what, million dollars. Yes. But also, Dadanelspa paid Brotherspa because he made a transfer in, inside Turkey. Yeah. Yes. So the, that also went, cost money. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. so he's uh, so he was bought for quite a bit. So Eugene Sepuya moved yeah. uh, quite uh, a bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sepuya was... This time I lost track of Eugene Sepuya. Sepuya and uh, <laughs> Anelka. Yeah. <laughs> Just about that. So, so uh, trials. for one week, <laughs> uh, one week trials, and after that, we see how it goes. I mean, we all hope mm. that he, he passes because there are many African suitors who wanted him, and... Uh, back here people thought no he deserves better and uh fc zurich uh they they, they, they may not be the ones you know riding in the league uh, in the league in zurich mm -hmm. uh but it's a good starting a point side. and the fact that they're taking him at that age mm -hmm. uh if, for me is, is something that if he passes the trials that's something to start on okay mm -hmm. yeah yeah for well, the um, that uh, gave and, us Andrew. uh Granite Shaka, yeah. and yes. Uh, yes. Shed and Shakiri, and uh, Kabura, you know, and when Sadio Mane. And, and Sadio Mane. Sadio yeah. was in Austria, was it? Ah, no, it was Austria. Yeah, it was Austria. Yeah, and, 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 and the player that, uh, was it that from ba from Basel? The player that Arsene Wenger wanted? Who? Oh. Brill? Brill, Brill, the Cameroonian. Yeah, mm. he's in the Bundesliga now, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's sure. also from uh, Basel. But yeah. they do what, produce... What Brill was that? They, they, they're Cameroonian. <laughs> they, they do produce some <laughs> very good... Yeah. No, yeah. Kabura, what I was about to tell some you is... Um, players, yeah. You and I were at the AFCON Under-17, and yeah. you remember every agent we came across... Of course, they were asking about the under-17 Ugandan players, but they were saying, no, 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 there's one name. Yes. You know, there's Wizard. Alan Okello, you know. And, and everyone, you know, that I know in, in, in African football has been asking me, how come he was not named in the team that's going to the AFCON, mm -hmm. you know? Of course, that would have helped matters in terms of uh, 
uh, asking price, you know, and for more teams to see him uh, at the Africa Cup of Nations. It's really absurd, you know, that he wasn't named. Yeah. Uh, but let's see how the trials go and if he can actually get a place in there. It would be fantastic. Either way, it is fantastic for Ugandan football, fantastic for KCCA, fantastic. I mean, whichever way you look at it, you have a player go professional, then you get more into the rankings, you know, have all these players get motivated and it's fantastic. But the Africa Cup of Nations is 24 days away. So we expect a lot of drama when the tournament starts. Mm. But the drama has already started. Asha, I retire on Monday, then I retire from my retirement on Wednesday, is what Asamoah Gyan has done to this continent. What is happening? Listen, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it, you know, it's a confusing uh, situation when you look at it because, um, you know, I was in Ghana and, mm. and I got this feeling, you know, that everyone is thinking that the Black Stars maybe have a chance you know at the afcon and there's a good feel again after everything that happened in the past you know with the, the world cup in 2014 and another semi-final finish in gabon a sixth a, a sixth straight one i should say but um you know for a situation like that to happen just because kwesi apia could not name him you know in as 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 his captain mm -hmm. and and it's a rumor by the way and, and it's really shocking because it's Kwesi Apia that actually made a Samoa Jan captain of Ghana in 2013. So if he feels that he needs to give the captaincy to Dede Ayu, why mm -hmm. not? You yeah. know, it, it's not for everything that a Samoa Jan, top scorer of Ghana all time, you know, this should not really have come out that way. And then you have the president of the country, mm -hmm. Nana Ado, coming in to say, hey, look, I think you need to come back for the good of the country. Mm -hmm. And then he returns. Now you have a problem in the dressing room because Dede Ayu is going to wear the captain's amban, you know, at the AFCON. And Asamoah Jan is the general captain. Yeah. You know, so, so you have two worrying factions. Mm. And you remember that um, also in the qualifiers, there's a time he had to drop all of them, you know, against Congo. Mm. He dropped all of them and they went on to win 5-0, yeah. you know, in Brazzaville. So um, it's, it, it's a little bit... Actually, it's a, it was the World Cup qualifiers, mm. you know, so it's a little bit worrying for them. They don't need that going into an Afghan where they're not even favorites. Yeah. But yes, the drama Ma has started. Uh, Mark, before I want to cross over Joel Kamadi to, to kickstart the Afghan debate, but it's really unfortunate. One of the bigger footballing nations on the African continent, having one of their bigger players of all time, have this kind of drama before a big tournament. Uh, you wonder how it affects him as a player, affects the dressing room. And, and, and generally the fans, the, the mood in and out. If you're going to retire, you should retire. You, you can't retire, then the president calls you and you come back. It probably means you're not even happy to be in the team. Over yeah. the Amban. Yeah, as, anyway, uh, when, where Africa is concerned, and a bit of South America and Asia, the politics is never too far away from the football. And the, the Europeans have tried their very best to separate the politics from the football, mm -hmm. even if we have an unfortunate incident in which um, uh, Enric Victoria might not play for Arsenal against Chelsea because of where they're playing mm. in Baku, because mm. Um, mm. Azerbaijan do have political issues mm. uh, with Armenia, where yeah. he comes from, uh, which is uh, quite odd in this day and age, like Hassan Wenger was saying, mm. that for that to be happening in Europe. But in Africa, it happens quite a bit. Um, the, the politics does get in the way. Um, and it's and, and Ghana, of course, are not the first team, first big name, African name, going into a major tournament with a bit of chaos mm. in the dressing room. This one is actually a little less than some of the stuff we've had with Cameroon and Nigeria in the past. Um, and, uh, but it's, it's, it's not good. I mean, hopefully, the only person who can actually help make this uh, tranquil for Ghana to go in there without any chaos is actually Jan himself. Yes. Mm. Walk into the dressing room, respect Dede, and respect all your teammates. Yeah. You and show your seniority. Uh, mm. Don't come in there with a big ego. And try to show everybody that you're boss because the president went down on his knees mm -hmm. uh, for you to get back in there. Respect mm -hmm. your coach and respect everybody else and show them that, hey, we, we, first we're Ghanaian. And secondly, I, I've been at this for a very long time. Uh, and, and so I'm supposed to lead by example. Yeah. So I'm going to show you a good example by respecting Dede, my captain, and respecting my teammates and respecting my coach. I, I, I hope he's got it in him but because some, some names we've seen in African football in the past have not managed to trim their wings yeah. enough uh, to, to have modesty, the modesty to go in there mm. and be part of a team. Well, I, I hope he, he, he doesn't. I, I he tell you what, there's absolutely, absolutely no problems in the Uganda Cranes camp. Absolutely. No, no, we are ready for the tournament. <laughs> we actually have gone to the UAE. <laughs> Sebastian Di Sabre is happy with the charges he has. So if we meet Ghana, my friend, and they are still uh, in this kind of battle, we shall have a big opportunity. Joel, please set the scene for us. What is happening? <laughs> I'll tell you something, guys. 
Twitter is on fire. And before I go to the poll, let me just start with this one. Uh, Mulongo says, Umeme Limited, I don't know what's wrong with power today. It's on and off. This means I am going to miss NTV press box today. Very tragic. Well, you can follow Proceedings Mulongo on Twitter. We shall keep you updated. Justin is doing a very good job with that. So you don't have to miss any part of the show. Hans Ateni says, something that got me thinking, and this is for you, Andrew. Uh, Andrew Kabura is wear wearing a yellow tie tonight. I'm tuned in, guys. Welcome back, the love, Dre. All right, let me move to the poll because we did ask you, who do you think will win the Africa Cup of Nations? And second, we did ask you again, uh, what two teams do you think will make it out of their various respective uh, groups in the Africa Cup of Nations? Now, little reminder, Group A has Egypt, DR Congo, Uganda, and Zimbabwe. Group B has Nigeria, Guinea, Madagascar, and Burundi. Many of you have sent in your thoughts. I'll start with Kato Samuel Kasa, who says Egypt has the upper hand to win the trophy, above all, being the host of the event. Uganda is going to win. That's according to Tumwesi J. Arthur. Uh, Sisi Akelo says Uganda Cranes should do us some justice. Very many of you being confident in the Cranes. Uh, Majeme Sadiq Silaji says Egypt itself. Okui Fidel Henry says, I think one of these four countries will win the AFCON. That's Egypt, Morocco, Senegal, or Nigeria. Buule Richard says, calling back Chizito Luwaga on the national team. I know Uganda will finish at least, at least at the quarterfinal stage. Ham Parker says he's watching live from Abu Dhabi as always. Senegal is a very complete team. Reason, low average. Uh, they have never won the competition. I think that's what you're trying to say. Uh, Murunji K. Ronald says, I think Egypt will win it because of home support and history favors it. Uh, Angel, that's uh, Liz Merica, says, honestly, no idea. African teams are unpredictable. Jonah Moloni says, Egypt being host, and when was the last time North Africans lost on their home soil? And this is an interesting one here. A Simway Rabbit Richard says, any big business firm would be running to come quickly and sponsor this show. This show is great and big. Uh, it's a big show watched by millions of people across the globe. Maybe they don't know the power of sports. Well, I can tell you, maybe they don't. And I want to tell you, we are open for business. So if you call yourself a big brand, here's your chance. Andrew. Uh, there you go. Uh, thank you very much, Joel. Yes, I've had a couple of comments and reactions about my yellow tie. Well, I tell you what, um, I'm only privy to details that there could be a cabinet reshuffle very soon. So I'm just, uh, I, I guess, getting ahead of the game. Uh, compared to all the other guys who might be in the next cabinet. I'm just uh, does, that, does that include Mark as well? No, no, Considering no, 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 the no, color of his tie. No, no, no. Mark, Mark, has, uh, Mark has made it clear he's intending for another cabinet. I, I, I didn't know that you guys were actually. <laughs> you guys were actually. Because, yeah. I, I, don't know, I, 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 I don't know whether Mark returned from Zimbabwe, but we can. The thing is, the thing is, um, someone has walked off NTV and walked straight into the thing you're yeah, talking about yeah. here. Mm. It's, 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 it's one yeah. Joel. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. Wow. I, I think I think Kabura. I think Kabura actually is, is doing auditions. Kabura is doing auditions. He wants to follow someone. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Okay. To balance the okay. We have someone yeah, online. We have someone online. Uh, can we please take some phone calls? It's zero seven seven eight seven two two seven eight four. Good evening. Hello. Yes. Hello. What's your name? And welcome to the press box. Yeah, you are speaking to Victor from Kobo. Tell me. Yeah, you are speaking to Victor from Kobo. Yes, Victor. Yeah, for me, I'm going to Senegal to win this Africa Cup of Nations. Okay, the lands of Teranga. Yeah. What, what, what are Uganda's chances then? Uganda? Yeah. Yeah, I'll let Uganda try it. I know Uganda will try it. Power. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think we should try and take uh, one or two calls uh, before we can jump into the debate proper. Uh, do we have someone else online or should we uh, move into the debate now and we shall pick as many phone calls as we can? Uh, good evening. Good evening and welcome to the show. Hey, okay, okay. How are you? Fantastic. What's your name, sir? Hey, I'm Tinamasko Nixon. Tinamasko, tell me. Hey, I've called from Westwick now. Mm. I'm trying to see that Egypt will take it, uh, being the host nation, and you know the the cutters of of, of Mo Salah. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank and you, you very much. You can see him. You can see him. He has good defense. You know. 
and they have not lost uh, any of their of their of their five matches, you know, in, in their home ground in Egypt there. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Please, when you call us, make sure you reduce the volume on your TV set so we can uh, have better communication. Guys, let, let's quickly jump into the AFCON. I'm overly excited for this. It's it's the biggest tournament on the African continent. Uh, it's the most prestigious as well. Everyone wants to go there and try and do something. Teams were increased to 24. Uh, some analysts say that is how Burundi, Madagascar, that's how they all go, go into the tournament. I don't want to believe that line because I think everyone uh, tried and did their best. Burundi beat Gabon uh, with Pierre Emerick Aubameyang just the other day. So that's not the debate I'm having. Group A. DRC, Egypt, Uganda, Zimbabwe. Th this, in my view, is the group of death. I, yeah, I don't think we have ever been dealt uh, th this kind of draw. I mean, th this this kind of uh, <laughs> blow, uh, as far as the draws are concerned. In all honesty, we drew a very tough group. You've got the hosts who know how to win this tournament. Mm -hmm. They are. No, this is not, um, say, Egypt 2004. They are not anywhere near that kind of team that uh, had their Abu Trikas at, 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 at their very best and uh, El Hadari in goal and everything. But they are Egypt mm -hmm. and they always produce talent and it has come to the fore mm -hmm. and it has matured together. And I think that Mo Salah uh, going into a, a major tournament fit for the very first time is a huge, huge boost uh, for them playing at home. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to worship him like one of uh, uh, the gods of, 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 of the past and um, he's going to try and carry them on, on, on his back. I, I saw um, El Ghazi scored for Aston Villa today against Derby yep. as, as they came into the Premiership. Yes. That's another big mm. player they have in there. They don't have um, too many big names, to be honest. But I think that um, as far as forming teams is concerned, the chemistry, uh, the dynamics of forming teams mm -hmm. uh, on the continent is concerned. The North Africans have always been ahead of Sub-Saharan Africa, mm. and they've shown that example. And Egypt can come together and produce the team football that uh, will, 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 help, uh, will, will help them, uh, give them a very good chance. The DR Congo, blessed with natural gifts. Uh, I mean, they're, they're abundantly talented, and they play very, very good football. Mm -hmm. Now, as if that's not enough, then we go get one of the most talented, actually, teams in the whole of Africa, mm -hmm. because the Zimbabweans play football beautifully. Mm -hmm. I mean, you love to watch them. If, if, I, if Uganda was not in this group, I'd be rooting for them to beat up on the big boys yeah. just so they could upset them because of the, the run for football they play. And this is the kind of uh, team we're with Kaba Billiard and Company. This is the kind of group we're going into. Yeah. The only thing that can play in our favor is the underdog turn. Mm -hmm. Because I think it has always suited Uganda being the underdog. Um, every time we've been favorites, um, uh, it, it, it's been difficult for us. Uh, to um, I, I mean, even here in the qualifiers, uh, when, when everybody thought that Cape Verde might stop us, they couldn't. But when it came to Tanzania, who we should beat, we couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's that kind of thing. Mark, I, I, Randa's I, I, favorites I, I and we come, won't win. I want to come but back very shortly. give us the tag and we can I want to come back very yeah. shortly, but I want to quickly mm. move on to Asha. Asha, mm. what do you tell uh, an African football lover, really, who, who, who appreciates Egypt's home advantage, Mo Salah and the form he's had for Liverpool and <laughs> bring it to the AFCON, but who believes that if you look at this group closely, it is Zimbabwe and the DRC, who actually might have the bigger chance of making it to the next round? Perhaps you read my mind. Mm. Actually, <laughs> for me, I think that Zimbabwe can beat Egypt on the opening day of the AFCON. Okay, okay. Yes, Drama. because when you look at their squad, of course they have a little bit of uh, some problems in their defense, which I think they'll work on uh, in their friendly against Nigeria before mm. they go to AFCON. Um, you look at Knowledge Musona their captain. You mm -hmm. have Kamabilia, you have Evans Rusike, and of course they've lost two players that play in England and could not get um, their yeah. passports, you know, to, to, to get you know, in, ready in time for, for, for the handover to, to CAF. Mm -hmm. But when you look at that front, I mean, it's so scary that they are capable of scoring goals. So for them, they're not in that business of 1-0. For them, it's going to be more than look, two goals, two goals and above. Yeah. You know, yeah. they are that kind of team. They, they are very entertaining. They, they play beautiful football. They went and beat Congo away, you know. So, and that's them winning actually at home. Mm. So you can see a team that has nothing to lose. They know they are going to be up against all the odds. Mm -hmm. You know, if you saw um, the CAF Confederation uh, final last night. Uh, between Zamalek and Aris Berkan of Morocco, the scenes in the stadium. That was crazy. It was crazy, yeah. ridiculous. We're talking over 75,000 fans, you know, and those Egyptian fans, they're always jumping up and down mm -hmm. in that stadium. But the Zimbabweans, they don't care. Yeah. Uh, uh, they don't, yeah, but Egypt, you remember, a home team has got its advantage. Yeah, of course, well, always, Mamusha, always. But Zimbabwe can do something. Let's talk about experience at the tournament. Mm. Uh, without a doubt, Egypt and the DRC, perennial campaigners. 
at, at the Africa Cup of Nations. And there will be with slightly more pressure on them before we come back to that team after mm. the DRC. W without a doubt, when you talk about experience, but uh, just uh, where Max talked about us being in arguably one of the you know group of groups of death. Mm -hmm. Actually, in Gabon, <laughs> we're in an equally <laughs> dangerous <laughs> group: mm. uh, Mali, Ghana, Egypt. Yes. Mm. Oh yes. Uh, yes, mm. and, and and that's how it ended. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, in terms of experience, uh, I'll tell you the Cranes have six appearances. This will be the seventh. Zimbabwe have three. Uh, DRC have eight. Egypt have twenty-four. Of the oh. 24, Egypt have played 91 games, won 51. Mm -hmm. The last time Uganda won a game was in 70, 1978. Mm. You know? Mm. And, and that's the last time they won a game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> when, when, we, when we come to experience, uh, the, the truth is, when you look at Egypt, I think their pedigree overrides what they actually are now. Mm. It, it's so rich. But when you look at the squad, like Mark says, I mean, you remember the Botrika team. Everywhere you turn, you, you just go to heart attack. Yeah. But here you're talking Muhammad Salah and perhaps, you know, Ahli doing well, Zamalek, you know, a few players there. So in terms of pedigree, and it works at tournaments, mm -hmm. and then add for Egypt, the pedigree, the home ground. And like they say, some people say referees are brave, but sometimes they don't have to. Mm -hmm. the There's going to be VAR at this tournament. Yeah. So. Somehow. <laughs> yeah, happen. I don't think it's bribery. Yeah, but yeah, no, yeah. So, no. so, so some teams sometimes. just get the calls. Yes. It's just the kind of so, atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then seven, seven, seven titles, and then you come to DRC, mm -hmm. uh, two-time champions, and they have players in there. I mean, uh, Yusufu Mulumbu, you have uh, you have a Treza, Tre Tre Treza Amputu, you have uh, Yannick Bolasi. Uh, 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 how Yannick. old is Trasan Putu now? Uh, Why? Uh, all I know is a Why? veteran. He's still playing yeah, and starting for them. you have, Arsene Wenger's there's writer, a boy, yeah. there's a winger who we watched with uh, Kamadi in, in, uh, at Chan 2016. Mm -hmm. Elia, El, El, is Meshak called Elia. Player of the tournament, so actually. And yeah. then you have a Cedric Bakambu, mm -hmm. uh, the, the most expensive uh, African in uh, China. Mm -hmm. uh, so so you, in terms of the, the force, actually the entire group, when you look at them, Egypt, uh, Uganda, and Zimbabwe. Yeah. They're very strong but going but forward. Say, uh, but yeah. Uganda, yeah. we are not that strong going forward. We are strong at the back. Mm. But see, this is a, a group where you need score goals. If you are to yeah, we shall of, 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 of qualifying. I'll come back to that very yeah. shortly. I'll come to you, Mark. I want, I want first to go to, to, to Asha because we talk about, you know, a slump. Everyone says every country has that little slump. Mm. Uh, they go through, you're probably top of the continent, then you struggle. That's what Egypt have gone through pretty mm. much. Uh, they are back to the big boys now. You can't say that for the DRC. They might not have been winning that many AFCONs, but they have been consistent in there. They have been producing great players. They have been getting out of the group. It's, it's a proper thorn in everyone's flesh at the mm. Well, for me, when I look at uh, DR Congo, for me, they are the second most talented country after Nigeria on the African continent. Mm -hmm. They always have talented players, very strong players. And you can see from the performance of teams like S. Vita and Tipi Mazembe, you know, the, in the last five years, they've done so well. And also the emergence, really, of uh, Flora Ibenge at the helm of uh, the Leopards. Yeah. He's done a fantastic job, brought back that belief that, you know, they can go back and win something. And we saw that, you know, at the churn in 2016 in Rwanda, but they've been building slowly. They were just unlucky to have failed to qualify for the World Cup in Russia. They were just unlucky. You know, they, they lost that game. Uh, they lost the battle, really, to Tunisia. They could have actually gone through and, and played at the World Cup for the first time since 1974. So I think this squad, like Andrew said, has what it takes. Those guys, they're fighters. Mm -hmm. They're going to bring a physical game. And, and Flori Benge, he's managed to convince Yusuf Mulumbu to come back to the team at 32. Yeah. You can imagine literally of there's a meeting. Where's he playing now? Is he in Scotland? Yeah. He's, in, he's in Scotland. He's in Scotland, yeah. yes, yes. Scotland. In Scotland, yeah. Scotland. Yeah, so, so you can imagine a whole meeting to meet him and say, look, we need you to come back, you know. And then the fact that he actually made a bold decision to drop Du Merci Mbokani. Mm. He's the country's all-time goal scorer, but he dropped him yeah. because he failed to come for the game against uh, Liberia, which was a must win for them to qualify yeah. for the AFCON. So I think that um, they're going to bring a lot of experience. You can see from uh, the squad selection, by the time he calls back Trezon Putu, Yannick Bolasi is back, he's scoring goals. I come to you. Yes. I was going to ask you about the Uganda Cranes as well, how we approach the tournament then. Because yeah. mm -hmm. these guys are throwing statistics around and I'm scared. I'm Uganda <laughs> Cranes fan, yeah, yeah. but now I'm scared. <laughs> but let me try and take a call. Uh, you can give us your side of the story. Who you think will go on to win the AFCON and also which two will make it out of this very group. Good evening. 
Good evening, Kola. I'm very good. What's this? Say good evening, Kola. <laughs> yes, yes, good evening. I'm very good. What's your name, my friend? Um, you're talking to Ezra from uh, Kampala. Tell me, Ezra. Yes, I think uh, I think our country, Uganda, fine. We are, we are good lovers of the game, but according to the law of averages, mm -hmm. we shall compete. Okay, okay. Yeah, we shall compete, and I think Egypt, Egypt will go as far as the quarterfinals. Okay. I, I mean, yeah, we, shall, we shall shortly also discuss if Uganda didn't make it to the top two, how they easily could still qualify. But I understand yeah. uh, your optimism, my friend. Okay. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much for joining us on the show. We shall try and take one or two more calls here. Uh, we shall talk that mathematics. Uh, we actually might not finish in the top two, but we might still qualify. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. What's your name? Yes, I'm Kinamas Konis from calling in from Wales. Yes, Kabula. Yes. Uh, hello. Good evening. Welcome to the show. What is your view? Hey, I'm trying to see this. I'm trying to tell you that this is trying to show, you know, what it takes, you know, to take this trophy. Because first of all, they have that trauma disadvantage, and you know, those fans in Egypt, they know how to jump in there, you know, when they are supporting their home team. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think any team will find it very easy to win a match when, when actually these guys are at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. I'm listening when I'm called from where you're here. Sawa, sawa, sante. Uh, Mark, <clears throat> experience sometimes comes into play. Uh, Mangusha is talking about how we had another group of death in Gabon. You want to think some of the players know what it takes now? Yes, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a core of players that were in Gabon that are going to be in this tournament as well. There are some that have missed out. That, that retired after that or were retired. Mm -hmm. um, I think Massa is now part of the technical team and mm -hmm. then people like... Uh, Which uh, is a good side. Uh, Tony Maweji are not there. And, and the, the Baba Isaac, Chizito. The, the Isaac Isindes are no. Mm -hmm. And the Mwesigwas. But you have, um, you have some players, which is why I, I, you, I suspect, despite the criticism that came in from the general public about some of the clubs, uh, the players not uh, having active cl club football, which is why they, they were retained in there, people like uh, Judge Awal. Uh, because they, the experience they take to that tournament is uh, the know-how is from having been there before, and um, uh, we, we've got a good mix of experience and uh, and, um, uh, and new players and, and new blood. Uh, like I said, but I, I can't go without mentioning that I'd hoped here and I'd said it all year round that uh, Alan O'Kello would be our wild card, uh -huh. that the, the guy who would make it onto that team, the way say. Uh, Diego Maradona made it onto the Argentina 78 World Cup team, uh, which was the Mario Kempes is where the stars <laughs> are all. But mm. Diego Maradona was taken as well along mm. for the same reason as, uh, say, uh, Ronaldo da Lima was taken for his first one. Or, or even a guy like, because Ugandans now are, are, are much younger, <laughs> the, our, our viewers uh, will know about uh, Theo Walcott more than the two. But I talked about the other two because those were greats. Yeah. Taken at, uh, in their teenage along with the huge squads because of the potential, because of how much they were longer they were going to serve the country and because they wanted them to get that feel. Mm -hmm. I thought Alan O'Kello might be our wild card. And um, if you're good enough, you're old enough. And um, I'm hoping that um, his uh, consolation will be Zurich. But I still believe that we've got a good team. Mm -hmm. When you ask me about approach, um, it's something, again, we, 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 we talked about it here a little bit earlier. It's going to be very, I mean, I've got to be realistic. I'd want for us to, to go there and play with a bit of abandon. Uh, enjoy ourselves mm -hmm. the way the Zimbabweans are, the way the Congolese are, because these two teams are going to enjoy their football. Mm -hmm. But they will have a competitive edge because they're that good. I'd have loved for us to go there and try and do that. And I've been crying for the Sabre to actually be that kind of coach that turns us into that kind of team for a long time. I hoped he would be. Mm -hmm. But clearly, um, Caution took over. Uh, we've got uh, different ambitions. We've got um, uh, and, and there's ours are to make it there. And then not to be humiliated and embarrassed. Mm -hmm. uh, to to have better performances than we did in Gabon, in Gabon. Uh, where we only got the one goal. Let, let so me, I believe mm -hmm. that the best way then would be that if we're going to defend in numbers, if we're going to put men behind the ball, not necessarily pack a bus. By the way, you can go about defending with, with numbers while looking good at it. Mm -hmm. Men behind the ball, guys working for each other, but once you get the ball, we are breaking and, 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 um, and uh, pushing forward. You're playing into the outlets, using your pace, and pushing men forward, Mark, pushing I, I Ugandan recruits red shots forward, yeah. so it doesn't look like you have the one guy there, that, like we used to hit Massa sometimes. Yeah, you're Mark, just the one I, long ball I, to I, I want to get a comment. Join them, 
I want to get a comic what's happening online. Transco. Yeah. Mm. Uh, b- it's, uh, but let me have something from Asha first. You, you well, yes, I, I just wanted to react s- something. When you talk about experience, mm-hmm. Alan Okello has been playing on the continent for three seasons with KCCA. So mm-hmm. that's experience. And mm-hmm. we're talking big teams, Club African, yeah. Al Ahli, those are the same players that we're going to face at the after. No, I agree. Yeah. You know? If it was so for me, there. Yes, for, so but for me, this excuse oh. about Alan Okello being young, I don't understand. It doesn't hold Nigeria water. have Chukuze. They pulled him out of the under-20 squad in Poland to come and play with the senior team. Mm. And he's under-20. So, uh, well, well, I'll quickly come to you to talk about the team that has troubles, the UAE, and, and what you make of Sebastian De Sabri's team at the moment, at least the one that has gone to, uh, to the camp ahead of the AFCON, and then we can compare and see how good we shall be uh, in uh, Group A. But Joel is standing by online. Joel, what's happening? Right, as we continue to wait for those callings to come in, comments are coming in thick and fast uh, on social media. We have Murunji K. Ronald who says, I think Uganda will survive if they play good football and win their two games. An interesting one here, Malcolm, uh, who says, who is called Godwin Tokop, NTV Press Box is such a wonderful program, a panel of Four human beings discussing sports and countless frogs thinking they should be heard on TV. Anyways, I think Egypt will win. And just to clarify anything, uh, Godwin, I've been told it's mating season, so that's why the noise has all of a sudden increased uh, on on your screens. Well, we have Kenneth who is uh, uh, saying, answering the press box, Morocco will win the AFCON 2019. Talented squad and experienced coach have Renard. Rose says, I want to hear from the panel, which two teams do you think will make it out of Group A? That's an interesting one. Don't worry about the frogs. We're trying to keep at one with nature, which is uh, fantastic for us here on the press box, to be honest. But Mangusha, before we cross over to Joel Kamadi, and I shall be taking some more phone calls very shortly, so uh, you should keep calling. Uh, you look at uh, Asha's analysis and, and Mark's analysis of the teams we're going to have in Group A, then you look at the team that Sebastian De Sabra has traveled with uh, for that training camp before Egypt, uh, wh- what do you make of it? How, how good are we? How much quality do we have in there? Uh, one, we have some dead weights on mm-hmm. the team, but I trust the coach because he knows his players better. Mm-hmm. And uh, we, we, we've all argued about players who are inactive, uh, but things to do with the national team <laughs> do not necessarily come out the way it is at the club. Because at the club, you're as good as your last one. Mm -hmm. But in the national team, the coaches get to trust some specific generals, and they give you a chance to prove that you cannot play. So I understand, maybe in that respect, that's why they took Jajewalu and uh, Hassan Waswa. Because Hassan Waswa, whenever he's been on the pitch, I think no one can question the effort. Mm -hmm. He gives 100%. There are players like that, yeah. You remember how Rigobert's song used to be? Yes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how badly Opola is playing at club level, if Mm -hmm. he doesn't have a contract, he He puts on the Cameroon jersey, and he's and up there mm-hmm. and, until yeah. he couldn't do it anymore. And that yeah, but uh, yeah. So 20... Waswa is in that world, yeah. yeah? Mm-hmm. Though, uh, though Waswa and Jajawalu mm-hmm. have a lot to prove. Remember, we've not had any serious friendly since. And the only confirmed friendly is against Ivory Coast on June 15th. There's one we should have on 9th. Uh, the opponent is not yet known. Mm-hmm. Uh, but why? I don't, I don't understand. How do these things work out? Uh, we are going for a major championship, and I'm not trying to blast the coach of Fufa, to be honest, mm. but we're going for a major championship, and we don't have the f- names of who are going to play out there in the public domain. Yeah, perhaps it's, a, it, 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 it's, it's about the, negotiations. The, the, there's a lot of lobbying through. that is involved, yes. because yes. you see, Uganda is actually going to, is, is camping in Abu Dhabi. Mm-hmm. So you need to find someone that is also camping in Abu Dhabi, or if you're willing or to travel. And then also we are in the same group with the hosts, so we cannot play a friendly in Egypt. So it, it's, it's complicated. Asha, for, for, for how long have we known we're going to the AFCON? <laughs> long yeah, but, but of course, uh, uh, Ivory Coast gives us a feel of perhaps the DRC, almost the same. Uh-huh. Yes. And then uh, they're trying to get some Arab opposition. To give us a feel of Muhammad Salah. Uh, uh, a feel of Muhammad Salah. Yeah. Uh, but, but when you that look at opposition the, uh, won't be Morocco because they already have their two friends. They, they uh, can get a local club so, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> mm, <laughs> yes. Mm. Yeah. So uh, if, if you can play a friendly against the region, western region. I think a club in Abu Dhabi <laughs> is, is quite something. So uh, when, 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 when you look Salah at the, there are players that have been someone, there's uh, Alexis Baka, uh, plays in um, Sweden, Sweden. Yeah. and there's Abdul um, Lumala. Lumala, also mm. Sweden. Mm. Uh, those are you know forwards. Are there papers in order? Uh, they should be, yes, otherwise they, they, they wouldn't have carried them. Yes, mm-hmm. they are. And you have 27 and you're going to pick 23. I'm thinking, even in the 23, like we said, because all the 23 don't play anyway. Yeah. 
and uh, they will play only if you're going up to the finals mm -hmm. because you'll have that game where you can have them. I think Alan Okello, forget, forget that he didn't have as a sparkling season as the other one. Mm -hmm. uh, that was yeah, by his standards, it, yeah. by the way. For me, yes. he had a very good and season. No, me, I'm talking about so ability. That he didn't. And if I'm that's not the saying, argument, then, then Moses Weiss has no place on that team. If that's the argument we're talking about from this season, season yes. you know, yes. Yes. so you, you get it exactly. So, like I said, national team things they're, they're, they're quite complex. complex. I'll tell you, I'll tell you though, the, the reason I, I raised uh, the, the, the bit about Alan Okello, which is uh, and, and it's something that I'd like for us to develop in our culture mm. because, especially now that we are paying more attention to youth football in Uganda mm -hmm. than we did in the past with all our league football and all the under uh, tournaments that we go to. Uh, Diego Maradona was taken to the 78 World Cup. The star was Mario Kempes and everybody else. But this kid was coming up. Eight years later, he was winning them the World Cup in Mexico. Uh, and it was a, a, that growth was organic mm -hmm. and it was deliberate. Mm. Ronaldo da Lima was taken to the 1994 World Cup in the USA. The stars of Brazil were Bebeto and, and uh, Romario. It was known that this kid was not going to play. But it was Bebeto and Romario were the, 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 the twin. They won the World Cup. This kid was won the World Cup for them eight years later in South Korea and Japan. Same thing. Mm -hmm. in, in 2002, he was winning the World Cup for them. It is organic, it is deliberate, and countries which have a plan Let me take some calls. do this kind of thing. Mark, let me take some and calls. I need for us to be mm -hmm. there. We, 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 have guys, we have guys online who, who are uh, following the debate. Some of them are, are tweeting. The hashtag is mm -hmm. NTV Pressbooks. And some of you are calling us on 0778-722-784. Good evening. Yes, Kabula. Yes, my friend. What's your name? Yeah, I'm Tinamasko Nixon calling hey, from Tinamasko. Uh, how, how come yes. your call keeps going through? Everyone else is, is struggling to, to get to us. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm ever watching that, that press book. And, and you load your airtime, mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. What do you have to say? Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to, 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 to talk about this national team. I the disabled is calling us and who has not been in active football. And this old man from, from Kikende, Ajaja Walusin, those guys have not been in, 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 in a in active football and, and he lives out these guys who have been competing, you know, the Alano, the, the Okelos, you know. Okay, uh, there you go. Uh, his complaint, I think, is pretty much what we've been talking about as well. Playing time for the players. Let me try and take two more calls. Uh, let's take two more calls. Uh, Asha has uh, a reaction to, to give us very shortly. Uh, do we have someone else online? All right. Uh, good evening. Hello. Hello. Yes, what's your name? Good uh, evening, Andrew. I'm very good, my friend. What's your name? My name is Raga from Bujili. Please walk away from your TV set because we have so much feedback this side. So that's what I wanted to know. Mm -hmm. Is he follow me on the squad? Yes, of course. He's on the squad. And he scored for his club the other day, so he's warming up well. well okay, that's what I wanted to know. Mm -hmm. And I predict that Uganda will finish in... Uh, Okay. We're finishing what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He has had, he has had second thoughts. Thank about you very that. much. <laughs> he was about to be bold, and then he thought, no. He was like, ah, ah, not this <laughs> <laughs> Let me take one more before I cross over to Asha. Asha had something specific to add to this. Also, we need to talk about Group B, guys. Good evening, and welcome to the show. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I think uh, the caller is uh, a little bit busy. Do we have someone else online now? Uh, it's 0778-722-784. Good evening. Hello. Okay. Uh, I want us to talk about Group B, guys, but actually I have a concluding yes, remark. Yes, I just... About, uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let me conclude something uh -huh. on uh, Hassan Waswa. Mm -hmm. First of all, Hassan Waswa, when you look at him as a player, the kind of character that he has in that squad, you know, he's sort of like a bridge between, you know, experienced players like... Onyango and then the incoming players mm -hmm. okay and then also let's not forget that his last club El Gaish the army side he was playing in the Egyptian Premier League so he's the kind of player who is going to give insight you know to the Uganda cranes and everyone else and tell them look this guy you know some intel really about the team and what yeah. to expect mm -hmm. the, the kind of food but even here the, the, he's the been the playing for Wachiso Giants yes for like Wachiso Giants at all. yes yeah. yes, yes Giants absolutely have been promoted mm. to the league they've been uh, playing in a league that has provided some excitement with Proline and uh, Chetume. Mm. And uh, so he's had some games in there, some playing time. You might um, question uh, uh, the level of competition and everything. Mm. But it's, uh, if you're competing, you're competing. And it's better than uh, being idle. Okay. Uh, but having said that, people, 
uh, one of the things we have to understand about Uganda Cranes now is that it looks like we have got ourselves into the habit of qualifying. And it, it, the wait is not too long mm -hmm. for any player who has missed out, or Kelo or whoever. And, and there are some, several others. We have talked about Juma Balinya here and others mm -hmm. in the past. Mm -hmm. The wait is not too long. And uh, we've got to cut the coaches some slack. If they need some experience now, um, the decision will be made for them after this major tournament about which players cannot return for the next one. Yeah. Like it was in the last case. Yeah. There are yeah. guys yeah. who have not that's come right. back mm. who are in Gabon. That's a fair yeah. point. So that's what just, happens. Just, just to it's, add, it's, to it's, add it's, on Max Ali, yeah. the other yeah. coin mm. is perhaps there are quite a number who are of old age in this team. And perhaps the coach is looking at them and like, let them serve their course. It's the last mm. one, yeah. and let Alan, you know the the, the Balinias, mm -hmm. John Revita, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know how old he is though, but uh, you know that group, they mm -hmm. can come in the next one. Because now, the other players can't, the Balinias, you know, the Nelson, they, they, they can't argue, because th th there's sec the Kosafa. I mean, if you really want to show the coach, you should have traveled. Go do well in yes. South Africa. Go do well yes, in South Africa. Let's quickly yeah. move on. Let's quickly move on from these points. groups. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about Group B now. You can quickly uh, continue sending us that reaction. The hashtag is NTV Pressbox. Which two teams do you think will make it out of Group A? There's the DRC, there is Egypt, uh, there is Zimbabwe, and of course the mighty, mighty, mighty Uganda Cranes. Uh, do they have a chance of making it to the next group? Plus, the same hashtag to tell us who you think is your favorite to win the Africa Cup of Nations. We shall be taking more calls, uh, but before we go for a break, let's quickly rush through Group B. Um, Can I make a correction mm. uh, from uh, our friend uh, Madoi? Mm. Uh, just saying uh, Hassan Osa didn't play for Axel Giants, but he did train with the Chet two men. Mm -hmm. mm. You know? Are, yeah. you, are you sure? Yes. Did he, I not he, see he, him in that lineup a few times? No. That was my mistake. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, okay. But, uh, but it's I'm, okay. I'm sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. Okay. That's but let's quickly uh, move on. We have yeah. uh, Burundi, yeah. another East African nation mm. uh, that is traveling to the Africa Cup of Nations, which is fantastic, whichever way you look at it. East Africa has four different nations uh, Uganda, uh, Burundi, Tanzania, Kenya. Mm. Uh, I'm sure South Sudan and Rwanda will think about it in, 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 <laughs> in the next few. But you have Guinea, mm. you have Madagascar, and Nigeria. Now, Folks are going for Guinea and Nigeria in this group. But I think Asha the Afghan is going to come with every kind of surprise. Let's not forget that Madagascar were the first team mm -hmm. to qualify for the Africa Cup of Nations this year. Mm -hmm. So they are not a team to be underrated as much as people are making fun, you know, about their long names and how it's very yeah. difficult for you, the commentators, mm -hmm. you know, to, 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 to say their names. But um, when I look at that group, Nigeria have so much to prove. They just came back from uh, the World Cup. They're in a very good form in the last three years, I should say. But I think Madagascar will have something to say about that group. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, Guinea also with uh, Nabi Keita. Uh, he's injured, of course. He was supposed to be out for two months, but he's had a lot of... Uh, uh, progress on mm -hmm. his recovery and he could be ready for the Afghan. He's been uh, a very important player for Guinea uh, in their qualifiers. Mm -hmm. They didn't lose a game. They won five and drew one game against uh, Ivory Coast and you could see the quality and the kind of leadership that he brings into that squad. But also Burundi, yes, they lost Papi Fati, uh, a very important player for them in the qualifiers, but I think since the arrival of Sadio Berahino, uh, they've looked quite uh, a very organized side. And actually, their captain plays for Vipers here, yeah. Karim Nizigiimana, as a right back. Mm -hmm. uh, so that kind of um, atmosphere, they have nothing to lose. The I'm telling you, we're group. going to have a ball with the commentators at the Africa Cup of Nations. Because <laughs> what I've decided to do is look through the Madagascar squad. And I'm just going to mention two names, three names for you. No, don't mention Joseph. No, no, I'm, I'm mentioning the other one. Hey. It's a defender called Razaka Nanteinanama. It's hey. a proper name. Yeah. Then I've got... Adriana Nte Nainana, Randria Mbolonona. Now imagine. It's not uncommon. I think Andrew has forged some of no, these. Yeah. No, it's not, yeah. it's not uncommon <laughs> to find 20 letters yeah. in, mm. a, in a Madagascar name. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, so right. So it's unbelievable. But, but um, like the Brazilians, I hope the commentators, um, Andrew, I don't know if you're going to do commentary there, mm. uh, will find the short no, names. No, there's already yeah. a list of short names uh, that is out there already yeah. in the public so domain. So instead of saying Four Edson, names, Alantes, yeah. Donacimento, you're saying Pele. Yeah. That kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Fine. So I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping, and, and also, I, I'm hoping <laughs> that you have, have, have that kind of thing. <laughs> but Abura. having said that, um, yeah. I, I was looking at what Asha was saying. Yeah. And um, it's going to be quite interesting. Well, I've, what Madagascar, the last three, four years that I've seen their results of the African continent. They don't concede goals. 1-0 mm -mm. <laughs> when they lose, it's 1-0 or something like that. I, I don't know the magic. We're going to see it on TV. Okay. But they, 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 they defend well. And they've got the, 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 the calf boss. 
that I don't know if that plays into what's going on. No, 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 Mark, 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 no, 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 Mark, no. I don't know if that. But I get, I get what Mark. No, Mark got the calf boss. I don't get what Mark is saying. No, Mark. And then it's football. And it's football. Never mind. Never mind that. I wanted to go more to Burundi. Burundi have also got this feel good thing. I have a feeling that their president will show up in those stands. Mm -hmm. Now this is a man who loves football. If, who if, plays football? If, if actually, if he actually he, he could, he would step onto that pitch and play with them mm. uh, in that final. I'm wondering. You, you saw the excitement we had in Uganda here after we qualified against Cape Verde, mm. and uh, even Yorick Kutam Seven was sucked in mm. into the excitement, and uh, uh, lots of millions were dropping onto people's accounts, yeah. players' accounts. So imagine the excitement from in Bujumbura from, in Bujumbura from mm -hmm. that man and, and, and his government because yeah. they love football. Mm. They uh, they are into it big time. They are got. I, I think he's uh, promise, probably promising them heaven, mm. and he's probably telling them um, if it's, if he understands what he is uh, as a player that mm. they, have, they have nothing to lose. Go and enjoy yourselves, and I reward you for any upsets that you cause. Uh, and also, that Mark, is a dangerous thing to play. Yes, against. Mark. It's yeah. very important to note <laughs> that Burundi, <laughs> as I've gathered from some of their players, are going to be playing for Papi Fati. You mm -hmm. know, he passed yes. away because, yes. you know, yeah. he has, he's always had heart issues. Yes. And uh, it was very unfortunate that he continued to play football even when the doctors advised him against it. But they say they're going to play for him. And, and you can imagine the fight thing. that Mangusha, they're going to come with. You, you have the final word on this group, Burundi, Guinea, Madagascar and Nigeria before I go for a break. Uh, in every tournament, there's always an upset or two. Mm -hmm. And for me, this group and the Uganda group, there will be some upsets somehow okay. either on drc and egypt and then here on uh, nigeria and uh and guinea. Ni nigeria and guinea, and guinea. Mm. but of them all i think nigeria of course they have the name the pedigree and they've been growing into the rhythm and you can say that actually they are now coming to win this mm. but guinea for me i think they, they play all <laughs> the most complete football and they have a very experienced coach uh, in paul put Mm. And then, of course, uh, Nabi Kate, of course, you want him around and all, but there's a gentleman called Ibrahima Traore. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, if you remember the <laughs> game between Cranes and mm. uh, Guinea in... Uh, it's not important in, to in, remember in, that in, game. In, in uh, <laughs> Morocco. Please. It's not important that to remember that game. That man has the sweetest game. left foot <laughs> you can ever find. Yeah. And for me, he's the leader of that team. Okay, there yeah. you go. We've got to wrap uh, the Africa Cup of Nations at that when it comes down to Group A and Group B. It's something we shall do throughout uh, our build-up to the biggest footballing tournament down in Egypt. We shall discuss all the other groups and of course uh, pick up your mind as well. But do continue uh, joining us on that debate online. The hashtag is NTV Pressbooks. Who is your favorite to go on and win uh, the trophy down in Egypt? Plus, which two teams could make it out of Group A and Group B? Now we've got to take a quick break, but when we come back, again, worth 170 million pounds. I was looking at the statistics. That is winning the Champions League, the Premier League and the FA Cup three times. Mm. So you, someone needs to go down and fail to come up. The yes, problem is you're not sure of coming back. I don't know. No, I don't know. Yes. You can ask Leeds. You know what happens? Eh? Either you drop out completely uh. or you get automatic promotion. Which uh. doesn't bring that money. Uh, you you have, have to be in the playoffs. Finish, finish, <laughs> finish between the third and the sixth. Yeah. And then gun for the final. Yeah, the sure. most expensive game. We talk about the Europa League final. The Arsenal fans are mad. Let me tell you, he's not going to be playing in this one specifically for political reasons. And of course, they were for Champions League and I'll take one or two more phone calls when we get back. Welcome back. It is the Press Box. We're live from the Kampala Serena Hotel talking everything but sport. And it's uh, one of the bigger headlines, to be honest, if you're a big footballing fan. You know, the Africa Cup of Nations is around the corner. Now, the big news is that the Press Box will be heavily, heavily represented in Egypt. So we shall be getting you all the updates from the Africa Cup of Nations. But for now, let me take some more phone calls. Uh, if you want to call us, I think I should take three phone calls before uh, we can move on. Good evening. Yes, Andrew. Yes, what's your name, my friend? Uh, this is Kenneth. Moana. Yes, Kenneth. Vi Viper. Oh, okay. Fantastic. <laughs> you tell me. Thank you, guys, for the show. Thank you for watching. Uh, tell, uh, I think uh, in our group, uh, that is Group A. I think uh, Uganda is going to give a surprise, and uh, I think uh, that uh, we are favored not to start with the host team, Egypt. Mm -hmm. I think if, if the efforts can be put in the two, uh, the beginning two games, I think by the time we play Egypt in the third game, okay. uh, it will be like uh, a walkover for the Cranes. I know <laughs> they can uh, put up a surprise there. So Uganda will and, make it uh, to the next round? 
Of course. And uh, for the other group, I think Burundi is also going to be a surprise. Oh, really? That. And uh, for Nigeria, Nigeria are favorites. All right. Thank you all guys watching. Sour, sour. Asante. There you go. Thank you very much. Let's try and take uh, two more phone calls before we can move on to another bigger debate. I'll be crossing over to Joel Kamadi very shortly. We have someone online. Uh, good evening. Okay. Uh, a few airtime problems suddenly. Good evening. All right. Uh, I think we can take one more call. There's so much debate going on online about uh, uh, the Africa Cup of Nations and suddenly Uganda's chances. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, what's your name? Uh, I'm called Jackson. Jackson, what do you have to say this evening? Jackson from West Nile. Uh, I think when you look at uh, Group A of uh, Uganda, uh, it is so tight, but uh, what I think uh, we may have uh, Congo and then uh, Egypt going through. And then Uganda will finish third or fourth. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay, fantastic. Uh, very shortly, Mwangusha, you'll be telling us about the chances of Uganda making it to the next round if they actually don't finish in the top two, uh, which is quite interesting. Do we have someone else online, or should I cross over to uh, Joel Kamadi now? Uh, let, let's take one more call. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Yes, what's your name? Good evening. I'm called Alan. Yes, Alan. Tell me, what do you think? Uh, Uganda will go through, <laughs> and most surprisingly, Uganda will make a draw with Egypt. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nigeria and Madagascar. Oh. Hmm. But my mission is Hassan Wasa. Hey. Hassan Wasa is a good player. He's confident. And most interestingly, Uganda these days is playing. Uh, uh, they are playing football. They pass the ball. They are confident. Mm -hmm. Uganda will go through. Okay, so Asante, there you go. Uh, thank you very much. Joe, what's happening online, my friend? Many comments we've had have been uh, very optimistic, but to Mueva Timothy doesn't surely think so. He says it has to be Nigeria for UG as usual, Tetuva Muchibi Inja. Now, Waya MacDon says, my country Uganda, because it's in my heart. Uh, noble uh, Israel and Antonio Yosri Zotuba say, I need to see their first games, and then I can tell you. Kato Samuel Kasa says, I actually want to say Mark Sally is an extraordinary basketball analyst basing on what exactly uh, information he gives. The man is informed. Otherwise, I'm actually enjoying. Thank you for watching. Robert K. Circle says, I also maintain that Alan Okello should have been on the AFCON squad, but sources in the corridors around the Mengo-based house have it that the national team selection is politically influenced by the soccer bosses in Uganda with Kitukidogo changing hands in some cases. That is what Robert alleges. Derek Muonge says, at least I have people who think like me. Alan Okello should be on that team. Senegal will win the AFCON 2019 with inspirations of Sadio Mane and ro uh, so solid rock Kulibali. Thanks for the show. Malcolm Student says, Alan Okello not being included in Uganda squad is very, very telling. What more? What more must the lad do? Finally, Ojore Simon, and this is to Mark Sally. I'm, I'm a, I am proud of a player who goes to play and leaves his leg on the pitch. Viva Mark Sally. All right, there you go. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, we are still taking <laughs> as many reactions as we can. They suddenly are coming in thick and fast. Andrew Mwangusha. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to mean. There is actually a chance that the Uganda Cranes can make it to the next round even when we don't finish in the top two in our group. I think most of us are very interested in this chance. Please tell us about it. You know, I've written, I've written such stories for the morning. <laughs> countless times, so I can even write them in sleep. Um, well, there are six groups. They are taking the top two mm -hmm. from each. Mm -hmm. That makes it 12. Yes. Okay? To the last 16. And then they'll come and pick the best third placed across all six groups and pick four. So the four join the other 12. Mm -hmm. So Uganda could finish third mm -hmm. and still progress. I say the same for Egypt. So Mark, by that explanation, and Asha, it means if we can pick a draw huh? mm. uh, and a win, uh -huh. just those two. Now the question is, where are we picking them? By the way, Kabura, are, Kabura yeah, before, so before Mark comes in. are going to be an, a serious thing, mm. yeah, as well as goal difference. Yes. When you come to that... You don't want to here, lose 3-0 three, three three in this only, group. Yeah. Only two third-place teams are staying back. Four are going. Ma Mark, Mark, you, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, but this is very important. Mm -hmm. Uganda has scored one goal 
in the last two major tournaments. One goal at Chan in Morocco mm -hmm. and one goal in Gabon. Mm -hmm. So this win of yours. Yeah. You don't see where it's coming from? It can be one, one nil. No, my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. One nil. It can be one nil. Eh? But the problem guys, is we have a who? problem scoring goals at a major tournament. Yeah. Should be, yeah. So these two competitions are telling. Yeah? But maybe we can hope that uh, Mr. Patrick Kadu uh, has a solution for us okay. in Egypt. Uh, there you go. We've got to close the, the There's one right thing we, we haven't talked about. Mm. Uh, we've all talked about Egypt being home, blah, 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 fans. There is, and we, there is VAR as well. Mm. But there's the fans VAR, the lasers. Yes. If you watched the <laughs> game last <laughs> night, uh, as long as you're not an Egyptian, you'll receive part <laughs> of that, mm. the lasers. And I've not, uh, there's no rule, there's, there's literally... The, 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 the players on the pitch will do their job and the fans, you can be sure, mm. will do their job. Mm. As long as you're not an Egyptian player, you'll have to get some. Yeah, they, they, they hit you with those, yeah. And, yeah. and I think I've seen that before. Even last uh, night, I Zamalek. Uh, Zamalek versus R.S. Yeah, Berkan. I was yeah? at the mm. AFCON in 2006, uh, which was in Egypt. Mm. And um, uh, there was a bit of that. But I think now it's gone, it's, it's gone a little overboard. But um, it's like I said, uh, it's, it's um, something that you can <coughs> overcome. I don't want us to worry too much about it. But when I think about the Egypt teams of the past, there was one which had the Hassan twins, yeah? Mm. And Hani Ramsey mm. at the back. Mm. That was a fantastic Egypt. So, and of, the one which took over, the uh, Al Hadari, Al Butrika. Al Butrika, the uh, greatest uh, player uh, of all Mido, time. Mido, okay, and then Mido got thrown out on Zaki. Mm. Those guys. Mm. This is not that Egypt. Yeah. This is, I, I think the over reliance, I, I don't remember Egypt's reliance on a single player the way it is now mm. with Momo Salah. Mm. In, in the past, it's, a, it's been about all round teams. And that teams. might be our chance. All round teams. And I, I, I think <coughs> we can compete. Okay. Uh, I, I, I really believe we can compete if we, are, we get our tactics right mm -hmm. and if we do not put too much pressure on this player. Uh, my, my issue yeah? about the Uganda cranes at the AFCON in Egypt is actually about the weather. Yesterday, I got a call from uh, some friends and they're telling me the weather is 50 degrees. Oh. 50 degrees. Wow. And this is just May. So you can imagine in the next three weeks, it's going to be crazy. And, and you, you see, the opening game between Zimbabwe and Egypt is going to be played at 11 p.m. Ugandan time. But Uganda against DRC is going to be played at 5.30 p.m. Yeah. The so the sun is literally yeah. going to be out. Yeah. Oh, so our boys have a lot of work to and do. There's you know? another issue with the uh, home court. Well, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. But yeah, isn't that the reason court. we are in Abu yeah. Dhabi? Yes, it's, it's the, the, reason the reason we are in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi but you see, it's, it's not easy. It's, it's not, not easy. easy to just. Uh, guys, we've got to close this. I, I need to take just two phone calls before we close the Afcon debate because I want us to move on to the game in Baku. Uh, the what well, you could say the poor man's version of the Champions League, mm. uh, which is the Europa League. Kamadi five. won't like uh, that. We shall come to that very shortly. Let me take some calls. Good evening. Yeah. Yes, hello. Yes, what's your name, my friend? Yeah, I'm called Akena. Yes, Akena. Yeah, from Guru. Akena, mm -hmm. from Guru. Yeah, for me, what I'm trying to, what I can see is that. Uh, hello. Yes, I can hear you, Akena. Yeah, Akena from Guru. Yeah, but what I know, what I know is that Uganda is going to go through either first or second because depending on the they have been playing, uh, depending on the games they have been playing, you see Uganda, Uganda and Egypt, Uganda, okay. Uganda, 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 Egypt. Eh? Uh, the the game of Uganda uh, with Egypt, it has not been bad, but you see. Uh, Uganda is the, is, the, is the favorite. Is the favorite in that in that group. Okay. Because I know Uganda plays that uh, that classic football more than Egyptian football. Sour, sour, fantastic. There you go. I, I wish I had his confidence. He knows. He says what I know is that the cranes are going to make it to the next round. Should I take one more call? Uh, let's try and take one more call before we cross over to Baku. Good evening. Good evening. Hello? Yes, I'm Abel from Busia. Tell me. I'm Abel from Busia. Mm. I predict you gonna to be to, to make a draw with Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Then to lose to to Konga and But is Watanga in the sport? My Watanga. Well, why are you calling us from you said? Busia. 
Busia, is that on the Ugandan side or the Kenyan side? Because you don't seem to be supporting the crane now. <laughs> I'm a Ugandan and I'm very patriotic, but the depends on football. Mm. I don't think what they're going to call for. All right, thank you very much, my friend, guys. We've got to close the AFCON. Keep those reactions coming in uh, for us as well. Oh, no. no, we have to close it now. We're running out of time. We have very few minutes uh, on air.